Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 110. I can't remember what that means in code. One dot dot. I don't know. Anyway, not important. The other thing is, I should have done this show before the last one. The last one being the one that I reviewed the... Um, external antenna, portable antenna for your shortwave receiver. Because I didn't really describe the antenna that I was reviewing. So, going back and digressing, here's a review of the antenna, or description of the antenna I reviewed in 109. So, it, here is the card that it was on. It was on a thing and this was attached and this is a card. It's a where am I? Where am I? Say Sangin Singin whatever that is. Portable shortwave antenna antenna sixty. I don't know what that antenna sixty. And I purchased it off of Amazon. At the time it was on sale for six ninety seven and it had free shipping if you ordered over $25. And so I use some of the uh, credits that uh, your users have um, given to me indirectly by using my Amazon store, buying something, and then I get a credit. So I use, use some of those credits to buy this <clears throat> for review. So here is a close-up, which you couldn't see in my other video. Here's a close-up of uh oh, this one's got writing upside down. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, it's fixed. I got my finger in the way. Okay, there's a close up of it. Here is the, um, over here is the adapter. And this other end over here is a cord with a clip on it. And that's what you attach it to. And then you reel out. This is the antenna wire. You reel it out. You reel, there we go, it was a little stuck. You reel it out. And it's 23 feet long. So you take this in and you attach it to something, like a tree limb or something, and then you reel it out. And then I'm going to set this down. And then this end is the, if you have an external um, antenna pl opening, uh, plug, uh, whatever you call it, socket, whatever, this plugs into that directly and you're ready, to, you're ready to go. If your shortwave radio, typically portable, uh, doesn't have that, then it comes with this adapter, which some of the more expensive ones and some of the cheaper ones don't necessarily have this adapter. It, it only has this. So that's why I bought this. One. And so you just plug this into there and now you can use this clip to clip onto your telescopic antenna. Here's, uh, oops. Here's my radio. You can just clip this onto here. I'll show you a little better. You can clip this onto here. Very convenient. So that, like I say, that sales. Um, it was on sale. It's not on sale right now. It's, uh, it is about ten dollars right now for the the kit, I'll call it the kit. And if you go to my Amazon store, I've showed, uh, I list it on my Amazon, on Amazon store under HF antennas. It's the first item. Okay. If you get it through my store, then I get a small commission and then I can buy more things like this to review. And what I will be doing in the near future is since this, this particular item I purchase through credits I got from my subscribers and viewers going through my store, then this will be a giveaway. A giveaway. Give it back to my subscribers, or one of them. Okay? So how's that? Now, the other thing, talking about these clip-on or add-on antennas for an external antenna for your shortwave radio. Uh, a couple of shows ago, I showed... Uh, I'll call it a care package. I got one from one of my subscribers with some all kinds of little goodies and stuff. 
and in the care package was these two items. This one, whoops, this one is some tie, twist ties uh, on a spool with cutters here at each end of the spools. And these, co these come off individually. And they are, of course, they've, they've got wire in them, just like their twist ties for your bread. And they are two spools of 25 yards each, or 75 uh, feet of wire. And that's kind of what you want for an external antenna. 75 feet, kind of long for internal in your house, which that's what this guy is built for. As a matter of fact, this plastic spool and the connectors and stuff, you don't want to leave outside exposed to the open air, but you can use it like if you're going camping or you just don't want to do a quick setup and then take it back down when you're through listening in your backyard like I did. So if you want something a little more permanent, you can use these. It doesn't have the convenience of having the connectors and the adapters like the other one does, but it's longer, which is better, really. You don't need it real long, and it's it's not very significant, the length, but the 23 feet here is kind of minimum length that you want for listening to shortwave. <clears throat> now, I was able, when I was in the... Uh, uh, a local dollar store, I was able to find these. So this, these are only a dollar. So a dollar, you get two 75 feet spools, and you can like just attach, you know, strip some of this wire and attach an alligator clip and then clip that to your telescopic uh, antenna, and away you go. And it's it's um, it's insulated. You know, it's got this insulation. And since it's supposedly made for tying up plants and stuff, it should be good for outdoors at least for a while, a year. By the time I got something better. So anyway, that's cool. And thanks, John, for sending me this. He also sent me this, which I I didn't see it at my local dollar store, but it's marked right here at dollar. So it's from a dollar store of some kind. And this is uh, 50 feet of 18 gauge wire and 100 feet of 20 gauge wire. Now this is bare wire, so that if you're going to you know, string it outside, you're going to have to make some insulators to insulate this wire for your antenna from whatever you're attaching it to, for instance, a tree or something like that. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to make some insulators. Now you can make some insulators out of plastic bottle caps from milk bottles or whatever. As long as it's plastic, that's a good insulator. You take a piece of this, <coughs> excuse me, say uh, three feet long, you tie it to uh, one side of the insulator, you punch another hole, tie the antenna part to the other side, string it across the yard, do the same thing at the other end, and then come back a few feet attached to the antenna part, a wire, and bring it down. Or make a continuous section and just bring that extra little leg down to your antenna. But like I say, you got to be careful because, for instance, if you're bringing this in a window or something, since this is not insulated, again, you got another problem with insulating. So that's extra work where this, theoretically, is insulated. This is insulated stuff. So you don't have to worry about the insula insulated. Although the plastic might break down, I don't know. But I'm gonna, thanks to John, I'm gonna try these two things and see how they work out. Make a little antenna and see how it works out. See how much trouble it is and do a video on it. Okay, thanks John. All right, so I just wanted to bring you up to speed on what I was reviewing in the last video, what the actual item was. It's on my Amazon store, like I said, so you can see it there. Or you can just go to Amazon and do a search for 
Sanjian Sanjian portable shortwave antenna and uh, find it on there but I won't, I won't get a commission uh, anyway so uh, again thanks for all the subscribers my subscriber uh, increase is still in still going strong uh, I expect by the end of this month I'll have over 500 subscribers where if you compare that to some YouTubers, they got thousands or hundreds of thousands. Not a big deal. But for me, you know, I'm just a little nobody. To me, it's kind of keeps me going to get these subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my shows. If uh, Please use my Amazon store so that I can get a credit, buy some stuff to review, and then give it back to the users. So that's the um, that's the show for today. I think. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.